Works of art are usually a form of expression to tell a story, capture history, or even resist an oppressive regime. It can also be used to promote a culture or an idea. This is the aim of the organizers of the art exhibition themed Iconic Lagos through the eyes of a Lagos boy. According to Bolaji Alunge, the exhibition, which infuses the elements of photography, mixed media images and paintings, showcases the uniqueness of Lagos through the eyes of 20 artists. More details in this report. From one end of this gallery to the other, more than 30 works of art from 20 selected artists across Africa, Europe and America are displayed here at the Didi Museum in Lagos. The art project themed Iconic Lagos, organized by the Eyes of a Lagos Boy, aims to tell a story of Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center. While the city is often known for its hustle and bustle and its many downsides, the city offers many potential for industrial, political and artistic growth. The artworks here, a mixture of photographs and paintings, showcases the beauty of the city. The first piece of artwork that caught our eyes is this photograph titled Five Calories. At a glance, one would think this picture was taken in more developed cities like New York, but this beautiful picture tells an unexpected story. Five Cowrie Creek is about the beauty of our city, indeed, and how it is growing. Because this landscape, a few years ago, wasn't the same. So it keeps growing. So the picture I took it, Five Cowrie Creek was taken three years ago. Today, there's a lot more things added to it. So we are looking at the trend of how even the city itself is developing. And we need to put that for posterity's sake, for those coming behind, to see how we live today. Capturing the wonders of nature in still picture is the dream of every nature artist. But when combined with monuments, that's a different story. Titled Nature and Monument, these artists capture a beautiful orange sunset resting behind one of the city's well-known monuments, the National Theatre. Looking at my work, and especially the nature, you see the prime plant color and how you make the sky look. You see that there's the separation of both, both the sky and the monument and the nature itself. So, and you can ever see the, the one bird coming into it, the picture. So everybody, everything together, make it more stronger and acceptable. Lagos is well known for its use of motorcycles as a means of transportation but a recent ban means the culture is slowly fading away. But like a time capsule, this photograph, titled Keto Blues and Yellow, hopes to capture an iconic part of the city's history. For me, as we know now, um, Okadas are banned. So it's just for me to like preserve that um, culture of um, Lagos. Um, eventually, maybe in a few years' time, who knows, maybe we might not see Elkadas in any part of Lagos again. So these pictures are something that I'll use to show in the future about how Lagos was in this time. And it is also to show the lives of people in Lagos. These people, um, Okada riders, they have, they, they, this is their source of livelihood and they have used it to you know, feed their families and do a lot of things. But um, now with the ban of Okadas and all, they might find it difficult to find work and to do other things. So it's just like an ode to them, like, a, like a, a tribute to them as well. The many artworks here, a fusion of photography, mixed media images and paintings, evokes the uniqueness of the city to change the negative narrative of the city that never sleeps. Falashade Ogrindi, TV360 News.